Are we back? Okay, we're back. Okay, guys, sorry about that. You know, new building, we walked from one room to the other and said we lost our signal. So I think we'll be okay now, but uh, if we drop again, we'll just come right back on. But we just, you know, as always, we like to give you a quick behind the scenes of setup day on Wednesdays. So um, Beth's bringing it back up so <clears throat> she can see whatever you're commenting or questions that you have. So yes. let's just uh, kind of wander around here. And um, do we want to interview? The yeah, sponsors? just see if we can find our sponsors over here. That's where our airfall guys should be. Yep, yep. So Meisner's is our sponsor here at this show, and they're getting all set up right here in the middle. See how busy they all are. Um, you know, guys, I know I say this every show. I know I say this until you're so tired of hearing me say it, but you would never buy a new car without test driving it. Do not buy a new machine without checking them out. And you get out here, and all the professionals are out here. So they can help you decide exactly what you need for your needs. Right, guys? Do you yeah. Have anything you want to add? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wisdom, right here. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're ready for a fun show. Yeah. How about, okay. And what all makes and models do you guys get? You carry all. You, I see you have Janome. I'm looking for your for Nina. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you need? So Gamel. Is there show specials? Anything show exciting? Yes. Yeah. Look, uh, here's Carl. Carl's my favorite. Hey, Carl. <laughs> Okay, lots of long arms, awesome. girls. Yes, yeah, please yeah, do. Yeah. We need someone have? that's not afraid to talk here. Yeah. Well, I used to be a journalist. So that... Yeah. Okay. Oh, great, great. We have got specials galore and goodies galore that go with them. Like we what have... kind of goodies? Like chocolate? Like... No, like <laughs> even better. Free sewing notions, all sorts of, awesome. all sorts of stuff. Awesome. Okay. And we have the biggest booth in this festival history yes so we are really looking forward to people coming out and enjoying all that we have to offer perfect, perfect. so they've got the biggest booth so there'll be space for you guys everything's kind of we're prepared for social distancing so mm -hmm. super safe is, protocols yes, yes. Yep. We'll and you know to be as safe as possible. yep and they're right inside the door so you can't miss them so be sure you stop by and see them again we appreciate Sponsor. They help make it possible for all of us to be here. So we do appreciate all their hard work. So yeah. we hope you have a great show. Yeah, thank, right, you thank you for talking to us. Okay. If you look over there yonder, you'll see, uh, you guys all know Suzanne from Calico Cupboard. They're getting set up. We're going to spend more time with her before the weekend is over. Oh, Beth's trying to find Carl over there. <laughs> <laughs> so like we always do on Wednesday on the floor we're just going to kind of walk around give you an idea who else here real quick and then we got to get back to work because we've got to get our booth set up but um how about let's jog down and start look at Nicole you're my kind of girl <laughs> what Nicole she say? loves a man with a sewing machine there you go okay so coming around the corner here I recognize Blue Petunia over here getting oh. all set up. Hi, Janet. How are and you? And then we got Janet. There's another awesome show from my neck, of, another awesome shop from my neck of the woods from Gardnerville. Yeah, you, make sure you come to Gardnerville because there's two of us. You guys, you are so lucky that live in that area that not only do you have two cool shops, but I was talking with Beth earlier, two completely different focuses. So, I yes. mean, it's like, who could ask for more? I mean, so many people don't even have one shop and you guys in the Gardnerville area have two with totally different stuff. You're so lucky. You're awesome. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, tell me that again. I'll give you your $5 later. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you see how busy everybody is. Blue Petunia has just beautiful Hi there. fabrics Hi and First time we've seen them for a while, so we'll be coming back to say hi. <laughs> we're frozen. Are we frozen again? Yep, we're frozen. Okay, girl. This new building, and it's not liking the Wi-Fi, so we're going to end it, but we're going to come right back with cellular. So hang on a second, and we're going to try it cellular because you guys haven't even seen anything. Anything <laughs> yet. So come back in a minute, okay? They can hear us. Okay, let's see if third time's a charm. We think we're back. So hopefully you guys are getting signed back on and you can see us. We're going to wait just a second. So if you're on with us, you're one of the early birds, just hang on. We're going to wait just a second and let a few more people get on. Okay, let's do a redo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're All right. live. 
Let's try this one more time. So girls, <laughs> this is Wednesday's kind of when we practice with the Wi-Fi and the cellular to see what the best um, options are. So tomorrow when we interview the vendors, we'll know exactly what to use. And we're just gonna keep walking on down. Um, I know a lot of you guys are so excited that um, John and Ritzko will be here from Guidelines for Quilting. When we tried to have them on the show, we just could not get a good connection with them. So we're gonna have John do some demos right in the booth for you guys. I can't remember if he's tomorrow or Friday, but we are gonna spend some time with them. And uh, you know, his, his products are amazing. So we know you're gonna be excited about that one. We're back girls, third time's a charm for those of you just getting on. I know Lynn, just bear with us. You know, when you're um, out on the road, you just have to kind of take with whatever kind of uh, Wi-Fi you have. So. If we do lose you again, we'll just keep signing on until we just can't do it another time. <laughs> yeah, so so we're just going to, you're just, like we usually do, we're just walking up and down the aisles. People are busy. We don't want to bother them while they're getting set up, but we're just trying to give you an idea of who's here. And of course, you guys know a good Squilter. We've had him on the show before, but look at all these machines he's got with us at this one, or with him, with us, with us, with him, with whoever. Can you tell we're tired? <laughs> I know. At least the building's air conditioned, girls. If you're looking for air conditioning, this is the place to be. Now, another great sewing machine vendor that's here at the show with us this year, as always, they're always at this one, is Elk Grove Sewing. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, same thing applies when we were up front at Meisner. You never, ever want to buy a sewing machine without test driving it first. You want to make sure you come out to these shows where you can try all the different machines with the experts. Let them get you in the right machine for your needs. And uh, so you guys have specials and things going this weekend? Absolutely. Cool, cool. So as you come in the show, you're just going to keep coming. They're kind of in the whole big center of the show towards the back of the building. And they've got lots of stuff. We were watching them set up machine after machine after machine. So great. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Who we got over here? Oh, in the we attic. Got... They've got a ginormous yes. booth. Yes, they do. They always have the coolest stuff. Yes. I love their stuff. Lots and... of wool applique and Cherie's work is beautiful. And she always has the coolest Christmas stuff yes. too. I always yeah. love her Christmas stuff. So we're just going to come up this aisle. You guys know Easy Piecing again, one of our favorites on the show. We're just going to kind of tuck in here. We don't want to bug them. They're trying to get set up, but we're going to come spend more time with them when we do the actual lives from the show in the next couple of days. I just don't remember if she's tomorrow or Friday. I didn't bring my folder, so I can't remember. And Lynn, you do not have I think to wear tomorrow. masks. Yeah. Masks are optional because it's... Um, in California, I guess right now it's regulated by county. So Placer County yep. does not require masks. So you do yep. not have to wear them if you do not want to. Totally up to you. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah, they recommend yeah. it. It's yeah. not required. It's just recommended. Yeah. So Okay. So we're going to keep on moving on down the road here. And you know, as you can tell, everybody's busy. They're not, if they don't stop and say something to us, just because they're all focused on what they're doing. We're all busy, we're sweaty, we're dirty. We just want to get done. And <laughs> yeah. Good, awesome, awesome. She's just, she's just she's socializing just on her, her Facebook. Having fun. She's watching us maybe. <laughs> we're, te we're teasing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, perfect. So you'll be ready for tomorrow. Oh, and another one of my favorite Karen! vendors. Yay! 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 Okay. Okay. You guys all know Karen from Twisted Scissors. Look at I have on the allergies floor. and everything. I'm going to make her get up because we have not seen her yet this since we started back. Oh, oh, my God. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, it's nice to see you. Oh, we're just so happy to see her. We haven't seen her yet. So, yeah. Oh, well, you know, we've told you guys before. <laughs> Your we become is. family. We're all like we see each other know, more than our like, family. So, look at this, girls, if you're ever hungry, <laughs> you can stop by Karen's. <laughs> she said you were saying. Things are here, okay, girls. If you need a little pick me up, if you have a sugar that's, how we, that's how we keep the curse. Yes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> 
Well, we're live. You know, we do our show li uh, Wild Wednesday live, which is part of the Quilt Craft and Sew live. Mall. What you're so <laughs> we we like to do a behind the scenes on Wednesday to kind of show them what you know, what it takes to get a show put together. And I miss and, my twisted sisters. Well, so you guys that have been dying to see her, you make sure you get out here. We have a lot of our viewers that are coming, so we're we're going to be excited to see them. About an hour and a half from Reno. Not that far. When Jenkins is going to be here, she says, "Wow, Twisted Sisters, that's a huge boo." I know. <laughs> it's so much. Call work. me crazy. It's like a really stupid and slow way to commit suicide. Yes. Yeah, we're, yes. We're, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That's what we we're saying. We do this on purpose. What is wrong with us? <laughs> I mean, I honestly, know. there can't. There, there's got to be something loose. Yeah. Because a few nuts. Know. Yeah, you know. So, <laughs> I don't know. well, we'll let you get back to know. setting up, but okay, uh, so and we'll talk to you later. Make oh, sure you stop by Karen. I only do cute. She and only does cute. Karen keeps promising she'll do a live with me and do a sale. So, girls, my girls, will have her soon. As soon as she can get her act together, okay? I'm trying to call myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, look harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look who's here. Bye. Yay. I'm supposed and to pick up a frog from you. Don't let me forget. Because I'm going to see her tomorrow night. So, I'll come get it tomorrow. It's your favorite, Amy. I, crafts diamond art. And if you guys are on the Facebook page, you know, I've been posting that I have turned into an addict. I'm having so <laughs> much fun. I'm working on the trees and I, uh, what's the one I'm doing? The mandala is the one I did on the way here. Cause I wanted a long, hard, you know, busier yeah. one right. for the trip. But, but I've been working on the four trees cause she got those back in stock I and know. they're so adorable. So, oh, there they are over there. Yep. I've got, I'm on my third one of the fourth and then I'm done. Awesome. I'm in my booth, girls. Yes. Um, do you, I was going to ask if you have something. Uh, oh, I need the unicorn. Do you have any more unicorns? Yes. Okay, I'm out of those. Yep. Okay, perfect. Yeah, maybe, right now. That matches the unicorn. Oh, okay. how perfect. cute. Perfect. My gosh, this lovers. booth is huge. She's got so much stock. She, you know, she was a little low last time because she'd been so busy, but look at, she got her stock in. Oh man, I got to come shopping. Yeah. Making samples? Uh, no, actually putting kits, putting kits together. Oh, I have one. I'm, I'm trying to put the um, Day of the Dead one together. Yes. But all the beads might have fallen on the floor. Well, you know where you can yes. Find yes. Yes. That never happens I am to not me. Getting, I'm not getting on that dirty floor and picking them up. Well, you um, know where you can find them. Yeah, 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 I'll be, I'll be calling you. There's a lot of loose beads in the van right now on yes. the floor too. When I, I bumped the little tray with my hand uh -huh. and went flying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I may or may not yes. have said a bad word or two. Um, okay, <laughs> Carolyn says it's going to be so much fun. I may have to come more than one day to really yeah. see it all. That is very true, Carolyn. And a lot of them have. Um, That's the one I'm working make on. And take. This is That's the one I'm doing one. in the van right now mm -hmm. for my on the road one. Yep. But again, these trees, you guys, I'm, I just, I've done the green one. I've done the blue and I'm halfway done with the pink. Yep. They are so fun and they're so pretty. I'm yes. going to frame them for gifts for this Christmas. This one I actually put um, a silver trim around <gasps> and then upholstery oh. fabric and made it into a pillow. You That's can sew through awesome. this stuff. It's, it's amazing. Awesome. Okay. And then <clears throat> Carolyn says, hi, Amy. Tina says, my husband and I did a test drive to this location this morning, saw the vendors lugging all their goodies into the building. So I told my husband we came to the right place. See you tomorrow. All right, Tina, we'll see you tomorrow. Yay, Tina. Um, is the thimble lady here? Uh, Jan will be here, yes. Jan will be here, Rondi, but she's not here yet. Well, I, yeah, I think she flies in later. So I don't know. Yeah. I know she's on the list. Hey, Mary, I'm glad that you woke up in time to, to tune in today. So we've got carriage country quilts on the left. We've got workman farms on the right. This is a good aisle. Marco, where are you? Where are you that you're looking for the show to come closer to you? Um, let's see. We okay, don't know where Norma's got, at, huh? I think we've got all the comments so far. I think we haven't missed anybody. If we've missed you, type it in again. Yep. So lots of cool quilts. Oh, look at all the little, aren't those cute? The bunny and the bee and the, oh, oh like those are, the must be those out. are nice so leaves. cute. Those are adorable. And look at the night before Christmas to the left of that. And then of course the one that always catches my eye next to that. I love that quilt. Everything's blooming. That is so are cute. Are these your own designs? 
No. Oh, they're super They're adorable. Cute. Oh, I just noticed now where it says yeah. spring. And look yeah. at like privacy. Uh, those are adorable Those are girls. really cute. If you want to change something out every month on your door, front door, it'd be super oh, cute yeah. if we're out in your um, little patio area. Yeah, those would be cute. So again, you guys, adorable. that's carriage country quilts. So you don't want to miss and that. And tons and tons of wool. So amazing. So beautiful. And then here's right. Vicki from Workman's. Um, <laughs> Nicole, you might be my new best friend. You could totally hang out with us. She says, I like huge boosts and I cannot lie. <laughs> no other crafters. Do we can't love deny. our viewers? We have the best viewers. I love our viewers. Well, guys, this next booth is two sisters, and we are so excited because they are old vendor friends of ours who stopped doing shows for a while that are after six years are now joining us again. So we're so excited. But they have all hold look at all this cute succulents and all these fun things. I'm gonna have to get some of those for gifts. You guys, look my at the little tiny sewing yeah. machine. Look at that! Isn't that adorable? That. It's so good yes, to see. We're so great. Cute. We're great. You guys are live with our Wild Wednesday Live group. <laughs> oh, you know, it's Janet. Obviously, doesn't Janet, have any more work to do because she's been in every yeah, booth. And just so you know, she put her lipstick on so she could be in. The so show. she could be in the shot. Yes. <laughs> so, I just can't help but notice she's been in every booth yes. we've gone to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know when they walked I just did it I froze for a minute wait a minute I know that's what I did it was so yeah. exciting and this is so cool that your stuff is so neat but you guys remember them from bird brain the most beautiful red works and stuff I mean that and they still do that but but they're venturing into something different so or they have ventured into something different do you have anything else you'd like to add too and it, well yeah would, would you like to join us lovely stuff what am i going to join you to do well we do wild wednesday live every Absolutely. wednesday we would love to interview you okay okay yeah we'll Talk put you on the list yeah right. get you guys on our mall and yeah. get you going yes. yeah yes perfect Thank you. All right. show. yes we have a lot of viewers that are going to be here yeah and Stuff. You can start working on your Christmas shopping. Oh, especially in this booth. Yes. 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 It's gonna be yes. Thank you. I thought it was going to be fun. Thank you. See ya. Okay, next up, we've got Patty Cakes. You guys all know Patty. Um, you know, she's Patty's, gonna she's out gallivanting. She's Patty's out running around. We are gonna be having her on. You know, I know you guys still wanted that mitt. She came on and did the, the table runner, but we still need to do the mitt. And I think we're gonna be doing that in October with her, but uh, be sure you stop by and see her when you come out. And then, of course, we've got Kathy's quilts across here with her block rocket. And they will happily spend all the time with them you need if you're looking for a long arm. All the long arm vendors that are here at this show are all really nice people, really helpful, very informative. So it's a good chance for you to really get a little more information if you're thinking about jumping into long arm. For sure. Um, so Kathy says it's like a family reunion in a good family. Yeah, yeah. we don't have any dysfunction whatsoever. No, we ran them <laughs> off a long time ago. <laughs> Guys, it's funny though. We do at times we do kind of fuss and argue just like siblings yes, and family. Yes. I mean, because again, we've said this. There, when the shows are up and running normal, we see our vendor family more than we see our own For family sure. yeah. a lot. A lot of so. times we're eating dinner or we're rooming or we're whatever. Yeah. Uh, we do spend a lot more time with each other than our own families. And sometimes I'm just going to tell you a little behind the scene thing. It sometimes gets ugly out in the parking lot when we're loading and unloading. <laughs> and we all want to be the closest one to the dock. And, but usually most people are pretty good about that. Yeah. But sometimes you do hear a few choice words. Yes yes, yes, yes. Some people have to put a quarter in the swear jar yes. after loading. Or many quarters. <laughs> so coming around the corner, you guys know Villa Rosa, of course. Pat is here. Hi, Pat. We're live. Hi. You, we, going to. we already are live. We're, this is Hi, our. Pat. How are this you? is our Wednesday behind Hi. the scenes. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <laughs> Nothing like catch, catching you off guard when Surprise. you're busy. Uh, yes. So, do you have anything fabulous that the ladies are not going to want to miss tomorrow besides your whole booth? Right. That's pretty much it. That's Lots so of great panels whole booth, and girls, whole some booth. great sale fabric and oh, we love yeah. sale fabric. Our usual bundles. Awesome. Love the sales. Yeah. Yeah. We 
brought a bunch. Perfect, perfect. And then okay. we've got an embroidery shop right across. So she's just getting here and getting set up, but you're gonna wanna check her out when you get to the show. Hi. Hi. Good. Good, we're, we're uh, wild with our little Wild Wednesday Live viewers today. So we like to give them a little behind the scenes taste so we get them excited and they get in the car and get here. So yes. Yeah? yes. So. Oh, good. We, we love, love the bling. bling. We <laughs> yeah, love we bling. love the bling. Yes. Awesome. Well, have a wonderful show. Thank you. Thank you. Pat, Mary Vitti says, hey. Mary Vitti says, hey. Oh, hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. <laughs> Everybody loves Mary. Uh, Nicole says she seconds that she can't wait for Phoenix. Oh, uh, us too. To come to Phoenix two weeks, girls. You guys, and, and the We're building, from what we hear, the building here is amazing. And we've heard that the Phoenix Scottsdale building is equal to this. We have room, it's air conditioned, it's awesome. So we can't wait to get to that one as well. But we're not ready to talk about no. Phoenix yet. We got lots going on it here. It scares me that we won't even be unpacked <laughs> I from know. this. We're to have to be repacked. Yes, up. we're in denial. Exactly, for sure. And here we have a booth that came all the way from Hawaii. Yes, we did. Did you oh. fly? <laughs> you swam? Okay. Did you okay. swim a little bit? Yeah. Beautiful fabrics. I mean, yeah, show that side of her booth over there, Ron. All this, your, her booth is always beautiful. I don't never get enough time to come over here and look. But his booth, his booth, he says. Not her booth, her, his booth. Is Ruth commenting for Wild Wednesday? She says, that's that's why there's no show on Move Out, LOL. Because we can't behave ourselves. We can't. <laughs> and we're she all knows sweaty. Oh, yeah. yeah well, it gets ugly. When we talked ugly. about coming live, going live from the shows, we were in constant agreement. We would not be doing a live on Saturday because we're just too crazy on Saturday. So <laughs> it's not that we don't love you guys, but you don't want to see that side of us. Yeah. yeah it's not so <laughs> Have a great show, you guys. Mary, Devin did not come with me. He's supposedly starting school. We'll see how that goes. And then we've got. Uh, Purse making supplies, they always have the cutest stuff, everything you need if you're doing purses, they're gonna have right here for you. Plus lots of great patterns and things you don't wanna miss. And across from them is custom creations. Look at, look at all this fabric, you guys. It's like a candy store. It is like candy. That's it's what like it made me think of. It's like, oh, you just wanna lay in it and run around and roll in it. <laughs> look at all, look. I mean, the colors on just this one table alone are so vibrant. I'm just going to pretend Beth didn't say that. Bless her heart. Um, oh, Quilt Passions, Dorothy. Quilt Passions is the name of the Hawaiian booth. Um, Leilani says that Barrett Jackson's car show and auction will be at the Phoenix show. So we've got a car show and a quilt show. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Oh. Oh, well, good, girls. Your husbands won't uh, be mad at you for spending a lot of time at the quilt show since they'll be looking at cars. <laughs> good excuse. Good excuse. And see, so we got Tropic Options next. Uh, and yeah, there's I'm our buddy sure Sharon from Handy we'll Caddy. You guys remember Kona. Sharon. Well, when Kona. Ron gets around here with the camera, you guys all remember Sharon. She's been on the show. I'm, we're so excited she's oh, here. Oh, because oh, no. it's a naked lake. We're so going to be coming back. Dear, you know, I can't remember which day she is, but we're going to be featuring her um, this weekend. So you get to see more of her stuff. This is the first time we've actually seen her live since we started doing Wild Wednesday. So we're excited for you guys to see her whole booth and her whole assortment. So, oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Do we'll you have see you any, this weekend. Uh, measuring tape leggings? Because I know that's oh, what the I girls see are them. looking for. Oh, right here. I, I can so grab if you girls need some crazy pants, here is the place. She has the biggest assortment of leggings, though. all kinds of really. If you're not into the crazy silly, she's got really pretty know stuff how too. Wide my thighs are. Yeah, um, I'm sorry, but I can't even. I wouldn't be able to get one leg in those bad boys. So <laughs> they just grow with you. <laughs> so we will see you later this weekend, Sharon. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, and, and then see Adele at Chaka Tour ask if she received we're almost her there. So yeah socks. We're almost okay. there. A girl can spend as much money at this show than the car show. True story. Well, I don't know. Those those cars might be kind of expensive. And then we've got peaceful designs over here on the right. They're getting busy. They're all busy getting ready, getting set up. Gretchen says the leggings are super comfortable, girls. 
super comfortable. Okay, somebody just wanted to know if we'd see hey, Adele. Adele. Here's Adele. They want to know <laughs> if you got socks, some kind of socks. Wait, let me oh, go back. Oh, that's Brenda. So, yeah, socks. Did you get them? Uh, not till Phoenix. Phoenix, Remember? girls, Phoenix. Be patient. Phoenix. Two yes. weeks. Go. You want our group to be patient? Who said, uh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, ball harvesty. Looks good. Well, that's why it's taking you longer to set up. Your first time with your new stuff, but that's it looks amazing. So do you have a make and take going on this? Okay, girls. So be there sure you to go. be sure to yeah, tea, towels. tea towels. How fun. Oh, how fun. Make sure that you allow extra time because a lot of the booths are doing make and takes and they're really inexpensive. It's a great way to try the product and see if you, yes. if you want to invest in it. I just have a question. How do you Wait, look can so you show cute on setup day? Well, I did load in yesterday, so I got the sweaty part done okay, yesterday. Okay. But wait, can we show them the quilt? Oh, yes. I think this is a quilt that it, you guys worked on together, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, she did the, the little blocks in the center with, with her. Is that with ink, right? You do the ink, and then I put it into less than traditional. And, and I'm making each of us one, but I didn't like mine. So what? I didn't finish it. I didn't oh. like the fabric I chose for the oh, back. So happens. I'm going to have to... to it. Well, I'm going to have to just suck it up and finish it because probably everybody else would like it, but I thought it was a little bit too bling bling for the, yeah, so I messed up. So if you get wild with me tomorrow, get a little special treat. Yeah, oh, remember. remember say you get wild with Adele. That's three people. Three you guys have to write it on your hand right now so you remember whose booth to stop by. Yep. Um, yep. Okay, so Carolyn wants to know what to do the make and take. So can you kind of explain what make and takes are? So we provide the product and you get to make it there and take it home. So for a nominal fee, 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the vendors are offering a make and take. So for for a nominal yeah. fee, you pay for you you get to make a small sample to take home. But yeah, you, you sit down right in their booth. I mean, it's not even like you have to go plan for anything. You just sit down in their booth. You've got the experts to show you exactly how it's done. And then I know on this particular one, when you get done, you're going to want to buy everything she has because it's so fun. I don't think that's the one we have, though. She's looking for the, so the towels are like a green and white check. All awesome. Three different colors. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, will you be at the Inland Empire show? Yes, for sure. Of course you will. Okay. We would I shame go, her. I, I go to all the shows. Yeah. So here's several different ones. Oh, that's so cute. So super cute. You guys can customize your own little tea towels. Look how fun. Um, so what a fun make and take that's going to be. That's so. a good idea. Lynn says, uh, if you don't like yours, Raylene, give it to Beth. She likes bling. And she likes everything. It's just, yeah, I was, I, I didn't even take a picture of it. I should have taken a picture to show you, Beth. But it just, the fabric was beautiful that I put on the back, but it was a little too beautiful for a farmhouse. Oh, that yeah. was what okay. it was. It wasn't farmhouse theme. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes a difference. Oh, cute. You know what I saw? She's got this sign over here that says, I love you more than anything pumpkin. Oh, yeah. That is hysterical to me. <laughs> I'm not one of the pumpkin spice fanatics. Right. Like, I'm like, right. I'm the minority. So that makes me laugh. Yeah, pretty much everything in the booth is all brand new. You guys are so awesome. It looks like, I don't know, I'm a little bit confused. I'm a blonde girl, but it, Kathy's saying the car show's not till January 22nd, 2022. So it will be the Phoenix show. And not the Scottsdale. January, not the Scottsdale in a couple weeks. Right. But so then she goes on to say, so husbands will have to stay with us or not. <laughs> <laughs> Mine has to stay in the booth. <laughs> I, I think she's trying to say the have to, you can't divorce them in the next six months if they want to go to the, go. the show. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Makes good sense. Planning. It's all about planning. <laughs> yeah, in other words, don't mess up your stuff. No, no yeah. Connie, says, Connie says she'll be doing the make and takes. Awesome. All right, Connie. Yeah. No, Karen, you have witnesses. Carolyn, there is no schedule for the make and takes. You just go into the different booths, and they're kind of all can start when you arrive. So just go into the booths and ask them if they're doing a make and take. And actually, they usually put them in the program as well, who all is doing it, what the booth number is. Mm -hmm. So so now we're coming down the last aisle, the best aisle. I, know, I can't believe we're the last aisle. I know. That was quick. That was 
Well, I can't, I can't believe that they put us in the last one. I know. They put us in the back of the show. Maybe we were not at the last They were trying show. to tell us something. Uh -huh. So across from here, we've got Innova, Long Arm Machine, this, and also So So Quilt Shop. They're all one company. Um, they've actually already left for the day because they had to head back to their shop to pick up some things. And then across from them, of course, is me. So we're right inside here. Booth, we have, oh, it's too big. I'm exhausted from going from one end to the other already. Every notion you could ever possibly need is Hopefully, here. hopefully. You know, we have a motto. If we don't have it, we can get it. If we can't get it, you don't need it. Well, that's that, a good motto. I mean, yeah. you know, come on. So there you yeah. go, Chris. <laughs> Also, in the program, Raylene is doing two, two classes. Two classes yeah. a day. So, so the basic, if you've never done the basic less than traditional class with me, that's at 11. You want to start with that one. And then at 1 o'clock, I do moving on. So we just, we show you like some other ideas that you can do with the circles. Hey, and, Eric, hey what? Eric, nope, come Eric, back here. Eric. It's a rare Eric spotting. No, 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 you, you guys, we hardly Eric. ever see Eric. So. Earlier, see, this you is guys his are other never half. supposed to see me. I'm the back shop guy. Yeah, you're not ever supposed to see me ever. I'm so, I do the work and I'm not in the face. Yeah, no, he's the, the face. He's definitely, yeah, yeah. But, but you know, we all say, yeah, we all say. Computer. Chris is out there running around, bouncing around, being all ADD while Eric's doing all the work. Yeah, no, <laughs> so. that's not true. I am the best. Hence the hat on backwards. Yeah. The I think it looks cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We yeah. love, we you love look you all. And happy. We love you all. Thank you for supporting uh, our Quilt Crafted Sewing Festivals. And thank you for coming out to our show. And, we'll and we love these too. Oh, yeah. goodness. So, we, so. we love these guys too. So. <laughs> On we're a serious excited. note, we're just so grateful to be back working again. We can't yeah. tell you how much we missed you, and we honestly, we, from the bottom of our hearts, we're grateful to be back working. So, so thank you for so supporting So can you our track shows. him down when you come in tomorrow? Just make sure you ask for Eric, because he loves hugs. That's true. I about do. About as I, much as I love I, them. I actually do love hugs. I hate I, I, She hates them. I do love hugs. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you. Thanks, bless, Eric. Bless thank you, you. We're grateful. Thanks yes. for breaking your no camera rule for us. I know. You. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Um, Carolyn says she loves your motto. Yeah, you well, don't yeah. Have it, they don't need it. Yeah, if mm -hmm. I, well, no, you've got, you left a step out. Well, I couldn't remember it all. Yeah. I'm a blonde. If I don't have it, I can get it. But if I can't get it, you don't need it. Okay, there, there you go. Because, you you guys, and all, you know, let's, uh, on the serious note, you know, I carry over 500 notions. Mm -hmm. But I carry, I try to tell people, I have a lot of notions, but they're useful notions because, you know, there are thousands of notions on the market. And nowadays, because quilting has been around so long, when a new notion comes out, I'm super skeptical. And I know yes. you are too, Beth, yeah. because nine out of 10 times, it's just a copy of something we already have. Right. And, but you do need to have basic stuff. You need to have those basic tools. But if you buy good basic notions, they'll last you your entire career of quilting so but uh, yeah so you know I know there's a lot of stuff I don't carry but you know when something new comes in usually what I would do is I'll order the minimum I have to take and I always tell everybody if I get it in and I think it's stupid mm -hmm. you'll have to buy it from somebody else because it's going right in the clearance bag right. <laughs> and I'm not right. going to even carry it yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean it's just you know again because we don't want we I don't, don't want a drawer full of stuff I'm not going to and I don't want to I don't take any pride whatsoever in selling people stuff they don't need right I'd right. rather you have the things you need and then go down to best and buy fabric. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, there, there you go. And I'm not a notions person because I can't right. keep track of it. It's yeah. up in my junk drawer. So, so yep. I send them to you. Yep, and I appreciate that. Yes. So uh, up now. Somebody earlier said, if you see Dory, let me find that one. And there she is. Um, Oh, poor Dorothy says, I don't dare take my husband to a show because he makes me spend more money than I do by myself. Oh, my gosh. Dorothy, he's the kind of guy to keep. So, so this is Dee's quilting. One of my favorite booths. Say hello. hello. <laughs> you're on live with our Wild Wednesday We're, live crew. Your so. wife is letting you sit there with not doing anything. Whoa. I think she's told him at this point that if he does something, he'll be it will wreck her booth. So just sit there and be good. Yeah, wow, there that's you what go. she said. Sit there and be good. <laughs> Oh, here she is down here. I know. Okay, wait, I'm trying to find somebody said a Yeah, the Wi Fi is a little rough here. Oh, when you see Dee at Dee's Quilting, tell her I said hi and we'll see her tomorrow. My first quilt show since the pandemic shut down. Tina Benedicto. Oh, then I see her then. Yeah. Okay. Oh, see, see, okay. Tina, she's we waiting for you. Talk, you can talk into my mic. Do you have any 
words of wisdom for my for, for our Wild Wednesday viewers. Look at she's not moving. She was talking until we said talk. Yeah. Talk into my mic. Walk you up here and say hello. At, she's got this like jail wire here. I can't yeah. Get, you don't want me to get close? Do you have some new stuff that they're going to see this weekend? You betcha. I figured. She's always we got new so stuff. so many new stuff. And do you awesome. have a make and take? In your uh, well, I always have make and take. You so, demo. And demo a lot. Yeah, she does a lot of demoing, guys. So, I've been next to her before. She has great so, demos. So, you know, come and see me tomorrow. Yeah. There's so many good things. Yes. Brand new stuff awesome. that you haven't seen. Well, you've so, had a year and a half to make new samples and fun stuff and regroup. <laughs> yeah. I know. So And look at her nails. She always has the cutest nails, girls. Oh, how pretty. Look at them. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Be ready. Open up this wallet. Okay. Yes. Tina, I'm... open up your wallet. Okay, she Tina. She's waving back to you. Okay, Tina, open your wallet. <laughs> open really wide. <laughs> Everybody here loves to see you guys, okay? Yes. See you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Thank you, Dory. Story. <laughs> Laura says, I have my rolling tote ready to fill up tomorrow. Awesome. Woo -woo. And then uh, over here, we've got, they're just getting here, getting set up, but these are some of my favorite vendors yes. too. Watkins, they have the coolest products, so Get be your sure. From them. Yes. Yes, so you'll want to check them out tomorrow for sure. And then this might be crazy here. Oh. I've left everybody unattended, so who knows what's happened here. Wow, look at this beautiful booth. I wonder who, oh wait, it's fast. It's just mine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, look how pretty this is. I love this panel. It's so pretty. And then look at these sewing machines, girls. If you need a new sewing machine, look at how cute these are. And if you need machine oil, usually I get machine oil from them. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. Look at how cute these are. Oh, and you can have them custom paint them for you. I know. I look know. at the, yeah. Look, I mean, they're so pretty. Somebody else I saw just bought one of these, and she had it on top of her jeep, and she had it painted to match her jeep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, Ron, come on in so they can see this closer up. This one is so pretty. The candy apple red. Locked, see all the detail? Like Aren't those gorgeous? Uh, so be sure you, you, you check them out. Me, huh? Telling me to get my crap out of the aisle. They're right across. <laughs> and now you're now you're live. And they're right across <laughs> from Beth. So. They're right across from Beth, so you can't miss them. So be sure you come and talk to them about these beautiful, beautiful machines. Yep. And look at bobbins for most machines. Yes. So they, they can hook you guys up. I know for me, I'm out of a lot of stuff because I just haven't gotten out and shopping. But anything you need, I think you could find here. Lights for yep. your sewing machines. Yep. Um, do those machines actually work, Dave? Wait, wait, say it again louder. Sorry. These are all working machines. Absolutely. Take them home, plug them in, and sew. And, and Dave, do they have a warranty on them? Dave, do they have a warranty? Dave, I, Dave. I warranty Dave. my machine for one year. I rebuild all of my machines, the painted machines and the original black machines. Awesome. Perfect. And I can tell you, I knew his mom when he was little, way back when. We actually, your mom and I were in the Quilt Guild together in 1994 when I was the president of the Peacemakers, Peacemakers Quilt Guild. Yes, yes. Yep. yes. Yep. We go way back, yep. way back. Um, so what's your favorite part about rebuilding a sewing machine? Handing them off to the... To the, the new owner? To the owner. Yeah, <laughs> the look in their face when they get their oh, they their get new their baby, old, new, mm -hmm. their old beat up new baby that just looks. And you guys, regardless of what you sew on, everyone should have a featherweight. Right. Everyone should well, have a and featherweight. And I'm just going to tell you, I don't personally have one because Bad. I'm lazy. Oh my I, no, goodness. No, I don't know. I don't. I'm not a collector of my, stuff. You know, mine's just in the closet, but I, I wouldn't give it up for anything. I used but, to be the, it used to be my only machine well, for years. It was the only right. thing I owned. And everybody that I talk to that has them, they prefer these for piecing oh, because it's a more so accurate like a piecing. Yes. They sew like a dream. They sew like a dream. Yeah. And they like taking them to classes because they're tiny and very portable. Especially if you have a motor home. Leilani, I know you've got some small spaces where you're you're sewing, so these would be perfect yes. along with your big machines. And again, they sew like a dream, you guys. Yes. They are bulletproof. They yeah. are awesome. Yep. And I know during the pandemic, you just had lines of people outside. Of, I saw on Facebook, you had lines of people outside waiting for their machines to get fixed because they couldn't get them fixed anywhere else. 
the mask machine, uh, mask yeah. machines, I call them. Yes. Um, <laughs> we saw hundreds of machines. Oh, wow. Yeah. On, on, the, on the driveway. I set up a table in a tent. Yeah. On the driveway. It was, it was, it was amazing kind how many people. Kind of crazy. Yes. Came out of the, uh, came out of the woodwork. Right. Wanting to make masks. There were hundreds. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're glad you could fill their needs. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was fun. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep my stuff out of your way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting us take your time. And then again, we you know we've got Best Booth here. Oh, this is so cute! I've never noticed this. Is this new, or I just never saw it before? Um, it was no, I've had it this year. It's new this year. So, that is so cute. So Connie says she wants one to match her KitchenAid mixer. Ooh, oh, Connie, I'm pretty sure Dave can hook you up. The polka dot one is to kill for. Well, don't kill anybody. I'm pretty sure you can just write him a check. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Sherry says she's been trying to find our site for 45 minutes. Sherry, we're glad you finally found us. Sandy loves her featherweight. The paint jobs are amazing, girls. And you can give him, I think you can give him a design. I'm not really sure, so don't quote me. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you can give him a design and he'll custom paint it for you. And if you just found us, that means you, you've missed all the show today. But in a couple of hours, Ron will have that up on YouTube. So you'll be able to see what you missed. So no worries, we've got you covered. And we've got Cindy's Fabric Boutique across from Beth also. Really cute stuff. Look at the little race cars and the John Deere tractor and the dump truck, aren't those cute? Lots of cute stuff. And they're just busy, busy bees getting set up over here. Diane, his booth is twice as nice quilting. I think, isn't it twice as nice quilt twice shop? Okay, twice as nice sewing machine restoration. And they're right across from Fabric Chicks. So I know you're going to be coming to Fabric Chicks to get your free gift. What? Type it in. What are you guys supposed to say? Does anybody remember? Do you know the code word? I mean, this is the fourth show. Y'all ought to know this by now. <laughs> and this is really fun, guys. At the back of the show, all the local guilds are going to be here selling raffle I tickets. I like them all beautiful. together. I do, yeah. too. Yeah. It makes it look so pretty back here. Um, Roseville's actually already got their quilt here. Um, Monkey Ranch. Oh, you don't see that as much. That's one of my favorite older patterns. Yes. I love that. The simple. It, it looks simple when you look at it. It's traditional and, it's clean and tradition. Clean. Yes, yes, clean. Yes. That's yes. the word. And the quilting on it is just amazing. So they're going to be selling raffle tickets for all their quilts for their charity. So be sure you throw them each a buck when you come by. Exactly. It all goes to such a good cause. So. Um, Nicole, I think you're the winner. I'm not the winner of nothing, but. Yes, I get wild for you on Wednesdays is the code words that you say in Raylene's booth and in my booth. And Adele. And Adele's booth. And Adele's jumping free prizes. And Cindy, I've got Christy and Pat in there working their little rear ends off, trying to get it to look nice. And don't forget that, you know, we've got our Wild Wednesday mugs here. Um, I'll give Beth some in her booth. I'll have some in my yes. booth. Um, I've figured out a way to get it under a pound for shipping, but shipping is going to be probably around $5.50 to most places. So if you pick them up here at the show for $10, you don't have to pay the shipping. They're nice size. They're 14 ounce, nice handle. And that just kind of helps us keep the show going. So yes. we appreciate your support yeah. on that. And they are on my website also. So if, if you don't make it out to the show, you can get them right. on the website. And we'll have them in the, the, the Phoenix Scottsdale show in two weeks. Perfect, perfect. So I think we've hit everybody. I think so. I don't know, um, Connie. I think it was Connie back here who asked if she could bring her old machine in. I would give Dave a call. Uh, look up his website, Twice as Nice Machine Restorations, I think. Um, I would give him a call and ask him if you could bring your old machine here. Talk to him about it. Tell him what's going on with it. And guys, if you're coming out to the show, remember your show program right now, you can go on quiltcraftso.com. You can QR code scan the program. You can print the program out to bring it with you. We're going to move out of the way here. We got the jewelry guys coming. But uh, hey, when, how are you? when you go to the program, it doesn't look like yep. much right now. Oh, wait till you see it. You're going to be able to get lots of gifts and things yeah, for beautiful yourself booth. and others in their booth. But uh, what you want to remember is when you're looking at the program, our wonderful webmaster, Ruth, has now put all the Wild Wednesday mall vendors in pink on the program so you can find them quickly. Oh. Please take a moment as you're going through and just tell them that, you know, either you've seen them or you want to see them on Wild Wednesday because some of them haven't been able to get on the regular show yet. But uh, show them some love, show them some, some support, yes. um, because it is really a lot of extra work for our vendors to come on the show. It doesn't seem like it, but when you're trying to schedule everything, 
and get ready for shows and take care of your oh, shops. It's crazy. So, so be sure and show soon. them some love. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, any more like questions? Or? Judy, we, um, I will bring you home a mug and Sherry, we will save you a mug. Mm -hmm. Um, and Pamela says, sorry, she can't be there with us, but she gets wild with us every Wednesday. Awesome. Perfect, Pamela. Thank you. Um, I, I think, think that's, that's it. it. Yeah, so guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, we're going to be doing interviews of four, vendor, four, four, three, four each day. Four each day. So tomorrow at three Pacific time and Friday Pacific time at three, we'll be interviewing four vendors from in the building. So you'll see their whole setup and they'll go into detail, maybe a demo, you never know. And you know, the fun thing about here is we've got some vendors that haven't been on the show yet. So you're going to see some so we vendors that you, we're going to, yeah. So here's the deal guys. When we come up to a booth tomorrow and Friday and we say, we haven't been able to get them on the show yet. We need you to start commenting that you want them to come on and demo yeah. so we can shame them a little. We yes. want to shame them nicely. And sometimes <laughs> they just need you to say, oh push. my gosh, I see that in your booth. That would be an excellent demo. And then that kind of yeah. gives them that push a little that they nudge. need to do it. Yeah. A little, little encouragement. Yeah. It's not, I mean, not everybody's <laughs> as, as outgoing as we are. And really? Because I, I thought not everyone was well, as I'm shy as we are. Yeah. We're kind of introverted and all. For real. For real. <laughs> um, but sometimes you just need a little nudge that people actually want to hear what you have to say. Yep. So, um, so that's it. We'll yeah. see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for tuning Bye. in. Thank Bye. Bye. You.